And um, we won't try to keep this one short and sweet because we have several driver's meetings. All right, we are out here at Clutch Kickers round five. The fifth and final round of the season. This is season two. I've done every single one of these. Um, and the Elvis Miata has done every single one of these. And if everything goes well with the new Com Car build, this will be the LS Miata's last big competition. So we've had really good and really terrible luck this year. The two rounds, the car didn't break. We made it to top eight and we made it, we won. But the other two rounds, the car broke. So obviously we didn't do really anything. Um, it broke very early on. So we're still up there in the points in the top 10 somewhere, seventh, eighth, I'm not 100% sure, but yeah. Moral of the story is, we've gone through the car yet again. It's just had a lot of abuse. So, fingers crossed, the old girl holds together at a minimum. If we can do well on top of that, that would be great. I just want the car to hold together and it's not to go out because of any mechanical failures. I'd love to end on a high note though. So anyway, there's a lot of drivers here. It is the most packed it's ever been. Uh, they had 84 drivers signed up. I don't know how many are actually here. But it seemed like about 80, so gonna be a busy day not gonna get a bunch of practice in but i've driven this track enough i should i should know what to do by now so let's go drive i'm gonna try to do just as much chasing as possible it's really hard to get chase practice uh tomorrow during the actual tandem practice because everyone wants to chase whereas today everyone wants to leave because it's qualifying day or it's like qualifying for me is quarter one irrelevant <laughs> All right, so this chase run, I left a really big gap uh, off the line and in general because Kelsey had asked, she had a universal symbol for give me some space, which is like you hold your two hands apart. And uh, she's still learning the track. This is her second time here. So I didn't want to go gung ho and try to run her door. And especially because she asked for me not to and for me to give her space. If something happened, I would feel terrible. So tried to play it super, super safe here, but still, you know, it felt like a pretty good chase run. It was nice to tandem with Kelsey. We've known each other a long time and I don't know if we've, it's been a long time since we've tandem and definitely not in cars like this. Going in space, I didn't want to, when someone asks you to give them space, give them space. All right, well, uh, I'm just gonna try to chase as much as I can today. Because today, everyone wants to weed because they're all practicing for qualifying. Tomorrow, random practice, everyone wants to chase. You'll have five people backed up in the chase line, no one wanting to leave. So I'm gonna try to get all my chase practice in today. 
All right, so even though I was just going on and on about how I want to chase, uh, Kelsey gave me a lead. She ended up behind me. I wanted to give her a lead. That is the courteous thing to do. If someone gives you a lead, give them a lead. It's, especially if you're going to end up battling each other, but just in general. I, uh, don't be a chase lane hogger. A lot of people do that. And don't get me wrong. I'd rather just chase, 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 chase. It's more fun. It's better practice. But common courtesy thing to do to give them a lead. So I wanted to give Kelsey a nice lead here since I've driven the track a bunch. She's learning it. Uh, but it's a little sloppy. I kind of I bumped the wall there nice and clean. But that kind of threw me off for the transition. And then I just, it, it wasn't the best lead. I felt kind of bad. I was trying to give her like a, a picture perfect lead to, to follow. But, you know, hey, can't win them all. So you're about to see why we need to build a vet in about three, two, one.
best chase, but good. It felt good. I gotta work on the entry. I'm slacking a little bit on the entry. But it was good. I was like, yeah. No, it looked good. Yeah. Feel good? Yeah, I think I can do a, a, one more on them. Okay. And then we'll change. All right, so this run's kind of funny because Brandon Wicknick was following me and I had told him, hey, my tires are pretty much done, but these Nitto NT01s, even as a slick, make a good amount of grip. And we had aired down a lot and there was a lot more grip than I was anticipating. Normally I do a bunch of leads because that's what everyone's doing. Uh, but since we did a bunch of follows, the leads I did get were kind of inconsistent. Normally I feel like good on my leads. Not that I'm going to do a crazy run, but I feel like comfortable. Right now I feel a little iffy on my leads, so not expecting the world, but we just need to get a run on the board. There's more than 64 drivers this round, so you only have to qualify, you have to get a decent score. So wish me luck. Well, 
I, I mean, we could probably leave these on here, honestly. I was about to change, sorry. So these are pretty cooked. They do still have some life once they're completely gone. I've got this set too that I pulled off during practice. These might be a little bit better condition here. Yeah, these are definitely better condition, I think. Oh, it's tough to say. Anyway, I, I, I wanna put a new set on, but at the same time, if I put a new set on, this is like how you have to plan stuff for drifting. If I put a new set on, or for comps, right? Um, one lap, and the qualifying laps are hard laps. I don't eat through the tires as much in practice and battles as I do in qualifying, because you're trying to stay forward the whole lap, yada, yada. Um, if I put a new set on, I'm gonna take probably half the life out of them. So I'm not gonna wanna run them for the one hour practice, because I need to be able to get four or five laps in, um, which I can do on one set of tires, but not a half use set of tires. So I'm not gonna run them. I'm not gonna run them for a battle, so they're just gonna kind of be wasted. So I'm just gonna run these tires that are pretty pretty cooked already and just see how it goes. All right, we're gonna try listening to music with headphones while we drive. I've never tried this before. Kelsey Rawlings, 15, Ben Julian, 14, Nate Hamilton, 13, Dustin Miles, number 12, Mike Pollard, I was 12. <laughs> 11, Cody Buchanan, number 10, Taylor Ray, number 9, Troy Manners, number 8, Brandon McDowell, number 7, Tyler Berry, wherever you're at, good Whoa! Keone Rodriguez, yep. number five, Nick Castleberry, Woo number four, yeah. Alec Honadale, number three, Adam LZ, number two, Mr. Randy Noah, and your number one qualifier and the only by run, Dirk Stratton. Woo! All right, we made it to Texas Roadhouse to get some dinner and look at this dang dually, dude. He said, I'm gonna fully stunt on Taylor if he ever shows up with his silly little thumbins. Mega cab freaking bagged on 24s. Those might be 26s. Maybe they just look extra big. Thing's sick as hell, dude. Gosh, this thing's pimp. I wish it was normal semi wheels, but still. <laughs> 